Hello and welcome back to Simon's Rants. I'm Simon, this is Eric, and we definitely didn't just film a review about Mary Poppins. And we're definitely not already drunk, and you definitely shouldn't go watch that review right now. And it's definitely not a liquor, liquor edition. Movie. We're watching My Five Wives. <laughs> and if you haven't heard of that movie, I don't blame you, but it's got Rodney Dangerfield in it. Our favorite. <laughs> It's been far too long. So, get your shot cap. Get your shake. Get your shot glasses ready, and let's play the Rodney Dangerfield drinking game. <laughs> All right. So, well, we'll do it for the first time. He does a huh type thing. We'll do one for if he says no respect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. If his eyes bug out, and uh, <laughs> if he says a sexist remark. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Those are the four things. Uh. And despite what he might think. <laughs> We're not doing any coke. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready this time. Alright. Let's do this. <laughs> this has gotta be bad. I can't Since imagine a universe where this movie is good. Well, we're gonna get crushed by that sexist joke thing. Oh, I'm glad that they had the Comic Sans font. <laughs> That's quality. We have the most careful drivers in LA. We're always giving hand signals. Yeah, the finger. Yeah! He did that. That's a. Ah, yeah, man! There's nowhere else on earth that are people more beautiful. What is that? Two minutes in? <sighs> oh, honey, park the car. I won't be long. And by the way, the offer I made you, it still goes. I'll give you a thousand bucks. Let me spend an hour with you. Oh, ice bucked ah, down. Ah, ice ah. bucked down. If he completes all four of these in the first half hour, we have to take another shot. This was really love. I opened my wallet and there she was. As soon as we got married, she put everything on the both names. Her and her mother's. He's actually dropped a Mrs. couple of good funny No, he, he, he usually has a couple of one-liners in here. Every time we had sex, she kept calling out Rocky, Rocky. Your Honor, I object to Mr. Peterson's insinuation that my client slept with another man. Rocky's our dog. <laughs> <laughs> How far is this Redwood Springs anyway? Well, along these back country roads, about two hours outside of Salt Lake City. Hey, John, remember that week in Aspen? You met that wild chick in the bar. I went out with her for two nights, and you had her for two nights. Then she went out with the entire construction crew. <laughs> we nicknamed her Belle because everybody banged her. I feel like this whole movie counts as a sexist joke. joke. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sir, that important phone call you've been waiting for is on line two. Well, you know what he reminds me of? Melon Patch Kid. <laughs> <laughs> the bank's foreclosed immediately. Go home and pack. Well, but Mr. Gates, I know you got two good hands. Why don't you use one of them, open that door, and leave? Quick, quick, quick! <laughs> Sir, thank you for banking with Federal Trust. Have a nice day. I mean, I'm fat. Like, I'm overweight. Mr. Moreno! That's scary, though. And now we come to the estate of Brother Jethro Wallace. Brother Jethro, of course, is no longer with us. God rest his soul. Let us now have a moment of silence in honor of him. Something disrespectful in five, four, three, two. Okay, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> One million dollars! One million dollars going once. And a quarter. One million and a quarter going once. Sir, you can't go any higher. It's not your money. One million and a quarter going twice. I know. I told Tony Morano it was in the bag. We'll be in the bag. In body bags. Soul to the gentleman for one million and two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Only the uh, farmhouse and a couple of acres right around it are under the town's jurisdiction. Hey, Ray, the table there, check it out, will you? What a lucky guy. His daughters all take him out and show him a great time on his birthday, you know? Those aren't his daughters. They're his wives. But how do the women feel about that? It's the way they were brought up. They don't know any other way. 
If we didn't already take a shot for sexist jokes, there it is. Yeah. You know? How come they all got married to an old guy like that? In their religion, they believe the older you are, the closer you are to God. Closer to God, huh? Well, that guy could be his roommate. <laughs> The more wives the man has, the more important he is. You laugh too much at Rodney Davis' jokes, man. He had 27 wives. <laughs> yeah, I remember the words of Brigham Young. He said, okay, it's a mixture of, like, Brigham. because they're so bad and they're kind of Young. good at the same time. Yeah, he's, oddly enough, become a guilty pleasure, where it's like, I know he's not funny, but, God, you gotta love him for trying. Tony, I swear on my mother's grave. I didn't take the money. You gotta believe me, I didn't do it. This is some of the worst Al Pacino, like Alfredo impressions I've ever heard of. My boss, for various reasons, wants to invest in your rinky dink little town, right? So we go, we make a deal. What do you guys do? You break it. You don't disrespect spaghetti, yo. It's a pasta for ghoul. Federal Trust Bank, where trust is everything. How come all the pens are chained down? Well, why are the pens chained to the counter? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not good at a Seinfeld impression, but you get what I'm saying. I knew what you were going with. Stuart, it's him. The guy from the auction. <laughs> Somebody needs to put a shot collar in him. And when he starts doing random shit, just buzz it, he'll stop. He'll be like, oh, God. And what church do you attend now, Mr. Peterson? I don't know. It's all according with a bingo game is, you know? <laughs> we, we don't have bingo here. You don't have bingo here, huh? I guess there's no time. You're too busy with bango, huh? <laughs> it's so bad. It's bad. It is expected of all our members to make periodic donations to the church. Hey, boys, it's my pleasure, you know? In fact, right now, is there anything special you may need, huh? Oh, well... We could use a new organ. A new organ, huh? I tell you, boys of my age, I know exactly how you feel. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. And I still walked right into it. <laughs> it's like a spider web. Just like, oh, yeah. ah, I saw that. Why did I? Ah, it's, ah, it's on my neck. The estate consists of the mountain property, the existing home, and your three new wives. New wives? I mean, there's no way in the whole world you can make me marry three. How old is that one on the left? Like 15? Oh, Mormonism. God. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. Oh, don't worry, honey. I'll take it nice and slow and easy. Maybe we should talk first. You know, get to know each other, you know. I don't think that concept of this movie is sexist. <laughs> it's just people one gets into a shot. stare into the light until I'm blind. I'll tell you right now, the condition I'm in, I'm envious of a stiff wind. I'm sorry, but the whole thing sounds ridiculous. Just like this movie. Ah! <laughs> Number six. Hey, that's me. Number six. Oh, oh I see what you're Oh, my. Oh, God. We have to. This is too sexist to not take a shot. Let's go. I'm waiting three minutes already. I'm gonna f off with you and your libido that is not existent. I'm gonna go over to the baking contest because I'm gonna enter my kumquat. Your what? My pie. Oh, pie. Okay, right. I got the recipe from Martha Stewart. Yeah. I hope I get lucky. Where do you get home? Then you'll get lucky. I can already feel like a numb <laughs> headache. In the oh, back. yeah, okay. It's yeah, gonna be a rough night for you. And we're only a half hour into this movie. And I don't know how long the movie is because it doesn't say on the back. It's, it's, it's gotta only be like. Yeah, it's gotta be like 80 minutes. Yeah, it's, the comedy is usually an hour and a half. This isn't a comedy though. You're right. It's a drama. <laughs> they're, they're not they're telling tragedy. any jokes. <laughs> <They're> tragedy. <laughs> a Shakespearean tragedy. Yeah. Mm. Is something wrong? 
I think it needs less calm and more quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Not with the movie. I don't even want to be on camera. <laughs> no. 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 Please give a big, warm Redwood Springs welcome for Brother Monty Peterson. Well, thank you, Brother Andrew, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here tonight with my three lovely wives. The best part about having three wives, I mean, they all can't have a headache. What kind of sick old man do you have to be to like sign on to a movie where you get to just like uh, make you, sex brother. jokes about young women you, all, the, all the runtime? Uh, it's disgusting. They keep me on my toes, <laughs> and I love the new position. Ooh, get off the stage. I'm about to embark on a new project that's going to bring a lot of jobs and money to this town. A new ski lodge. They keep using the same f***ing sound effect of cheering. It's really getting to me that it's the same cheap-ass free sound effect that I could find on YouTube and use for free. Just... Quality, man! <laughs> Who directed this? Sydney something something. Sydney J. Fury. Oh, Superman, Superman 5. 4. That's the f***ing wow. Mr. Morano, I've got good news. What's about time? A new parcel of land, twice the size of the one you were originally interested in, just became available. You know, I had like a fourth of vodka. No. This is for you. Already gone. <laughs> It's an eviction notice. I drink a fifth of vodka. Damn me to dry it. Well, I just dropped by to say hello, you know. Maybe, maybe this is a bad time, huh? Would you like to see the body? Oh, yeah. But maybe we should be alone, huh? Oh, you mean the dead guy. Hi, audience. This is the part of the video where I apologize for the movie that we're watching. It is sexist, unfunny, annoying, and <laughs> wow, is it bad. But you know what? You watch this channel for comedy, not good movies. So here it is, kind of comedy <laughs> and a not good movie. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>
Just get me some proof. I just saw Peterson go into the men's room. I know it's no big deal, but I also heard him say he's thinking about smoking and drinking. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, okay, yes. You certainly have and a beer. future in <laughs> photography. Ow. Hey, bathroom. Uh, I'm rethinking <laughs> my profession <laughs> as a movie critic. <laughs> I've never done that before. <laughs> I don't want to watch. That banker Gates broke his promise to me again. I feel like smacking his head through the pavement. What did Sherry this think guy? of this? She's real loud. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, well, we're loud. Yeah. yeah, we're really loud right she now. She probably hates me. <laughs> nah, she. Yeah, well, she's a big she's cupcake. So that's my hello. Sherry, this is for you. I know you don't watch any of my videos, but you know what? You're a cool. You're a good sport. Because, like. I right, shut up. Because. <laughs> Eric will have to show you this one video, and I know he won't remember me saying this, but he, when he rewatches this with Sober Simon, he's going to remember that he has to show you this video, and I'm going to say I'm sorry that I'm, like, really annoying, and that drunk Eric is really annoying, because he is, let's admit it, and we're just going to say sorry, and thank you for letting us film here, because, let's be honest, if we filmed this at Simon's place, it would be awkward. Okay, bye. Okay, girls, we'll take the same. Nobody day. wants to see Rodney Dangerfield's ass! Chair requires water ice. Water ice? Yeah. Water ice? Tell her that she's the best. That was a guy's ass, wasn't it? Yeah, you were turned on by it. That was a nice guy's ass. <laughs> that was a nice guy's ass. I will admit. Drunk Eric says that was a nice guy's ass. Get on the floor. You haven't tried this yet. You have to sit on the floor. It's better. Uh, oh, well, there's it, Coke bottles in my way. Rodney this Dangerford. Right what I think. Rodner, Rodner, Rodner Dangerford is about to strip. I still have not seen Jerry Stiller. There he is! There he is. Speak of the devil and he yes. shall appear. Yes! Hallelujah! He is risen! Hey, shh, shh. we're talking about the devil here. Uh, come, come on. So he's not risen! Through extensive investigative work by myself and Stuart, we have narrowed all the counterfeit money down to one source, Monty Peterson. Oh, he was in my store the other day! Have you forgotten how generous he was to the church? That money he donated to you? Yes. Counterfeit. Hang the bastard. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry. This is the jailhouse where they're What are you doing here, Gates? Oh, I just thought I'd stop by to tell you that it's over. You being a big city slicker thought you'd come in here and beat me to that property. So that's what this is all about, huh? The picture, the yeah. Will be mine, and so will your wife. Is anybody oh, shocked at this development in the movie? <laughs> Fried it in smooth. What is baby. this? I think he's giving me the signal. It is. Oh, some kind of space. 12.30. Oh, wow, what a hole. That reminds me, I gotta see my proctologist. I feel like white trash. That's because you are a <laughs> He's flying on rooftops. I want to thank you for breaking me out. But we can't stay here forever. Tomorrow I want you all to go back into town and find Ray. Tell him to get the sheriff. 
and have them both meet me at the construction site. Why the construction site? Well, I think maybe I have a way that I can clear myself of this whole mess, you know? Are you sure you're going to be okay up here by yourself? I'll be fine. And uh, listen, as long as we're all up here alone in this cozy little cabin, maybe you girls might be in the mood for, uh... Well, you know, after all, we are married. <laughs> this movie is a piece of sh**. I'm unashamed to say that. This movie is a piece of sh**. Peterson! Yeah, come on out, uh. We're gonna negotiate. Don't worry about nothing, eh? Oh! Heads up, boys. Shoot! Yeah. Hey, where'd the snow go? Where'd your career go? That's the best That's... one I've ever heard. Monty Peterson's not a counterfeiter. That money was planted on him by Mr. Gates and Stewart. They've been trying to get rid of him ever since he came to Redwood Springs. That's a mighty serious accusation. You got anything to back that up? Yeah. yeah. How about this? My husband was so greedy, he wanted to buy up all of the land for himself. Oh, see, the bad guy's a bad guy because he bought up Indian reservations because that's evil for a reason, I guess. Evil. If they were for sale, they were for sale. <laughs> want to take care of something. You have to do it yourself. Monty? Vinny! It's Jerry. Was is that comedy? This is what we just did comedy. Yeah. Then that's comedy, I guess. We should get a We should get a stage show. Laura, Laura Hardy wanted to stand up on stage and go bookin' a book and a book. Bookin' a book and a book. Ray, I can't believe they kicked me out, you know? Now don't worry, Monty. I think it all turned out for the best. I mean, look, they're deliberated and able to make their own decisions. Yeah, I guess so. It was fun while it lasted. But I'll tell you, I'm going to miss all of them, you know? I really got used to a five-on-one relationship. And after five great wives like that, where am I ever going to meet one woman who's going to make me happy, you know? Oh, Mrs. Peterson, the champagne and me are waiting for you. Ooh. Here I am, darling. Are you ready for a woman like me? Oh, are you kidding? I want you to show me a few things that are not in a book. <laughs> oh, I never thought I'd meet a man who could fully understand the complex nature of a woman. Tonight's our night. Ah! Let's go for the whole nine yards. What? Let's go for the whole nine yards. Ooh. <laughs> hey, let's be accurate. We'll go for the whole inch and a half. I don't understand the movie. Why is it called My Five Wives? It wasn't really about them. Was it? I don't know. This movie sucked. <laughs> and awesome. I'm gonna pretend that I followed the entire plot. Uh, yeah, there wasn't a moment we didn't realize what was going on. Honestly, okay, so I know I'm very drunk because this is my second movie I've been drinking during the day. But I don't get it. Like, it wasn't really that funny. There's a couple of good one-liners yeah, in there. There's a couple, a couple. one-liners in there. Let's be honest, there's, there's a couple, but it wasn't my favorite movie I've ever seen. And uh, Rodney Dangerfield wasn't, <laughs> wasn't funny. Except for a few lines in the beginning. Maybe yeah, no, I feel like he was funnier at the beginning and then he kind of just stopped trying. Yeah, so that's par for the course for Rodney Dangerfield. And for all of you consistent subscribers that actually watch all my videos, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> bye. What? Wait. Just keep waving. We're gonna do this for five minutes. <laughs> this music's great. Are you just gonna drink that the whole time? I tried. <laughs> okay, bye.